You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us Hey guys, Ugh, I don't know why my battery decides to flash But I quickly welcome to my channel um, If you're new, welcome If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back I quickly wanted to do a grocery haul If you watched my previous vlog I mentioned that we would be starting a keto diet Which um, we start tomorrow So I quickly went to the shops Just to get like a couple of things I need for the week So first thing is some mints which we need. I'm glad that this diet actually has meat in it because that's my fave. And then we've got some chicken thighs and drumsticks, which we'll need throughout the week. And then we've got some lamb chops, which we have over there. And then we have some butter, some of the things we're going to have to cook using butter. So I just got like some salted butter. And then I have some um, butter mushrooms. And then since we can't use spices, the only thing we can use is herbs. So I got some Italian herbs and then I got like large eggs because that's what I'm going to be eating for breakfast. We are going to be intermittent fasting. So we can only eat at 12 and since I can't have dairy, the alternative was to have yogurt. But I can't have that so I'll be having eggs. And then um, I got a big bag of spinach. And then I got a couple of bottles of sparkling water, which I'm not going to show you guys. And then a big Tabasco because this is what you basically use to season like most of your meals. And then one other thing that we'll be using a lot is a lot of apple cider vinegar. So I got the Woolworths one, which is the unfiltered. And then got some lettuce. So there's basically a lot of green there. And then we got some green beans. And then we've got this brown mushroom um, stir fry, which we will have. We've got some tomatoes. Um, and then we also needed to get some fish. So I got some trout. And then I also got Norwegian salmon portions. And then in here we have some cauliflower, uh, broccoli. Yes. And then we have some celery that we need. And then I got some cabbage, cucumbers, baby marrow, which we'll need as well. More lettuce for salad. And then some cauliflower, which we're going to have with um, the broccoli or on its own. And then we needed to get like some roasted and salted almonds or nuts. So I decided to go for the almonds. Um, and then we needed some sunflower seeds so what Tandy and I did is that we bought one one each and then we halved each of them for each other so pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds which we needed and then some avocado we basically just took two each because we need that we'll be eating like half at a time so there was no point in keeping like a pack of four and then the other thing we also got and shared was some jam squash so I got to keep four of them. So basically this is, most of the stuff should last me the week. But then I have a couple of things that I still need to purchase for um, the rest of the days. But I will be sharing my meals with you guys and hopefully I survive. But yeah, um, I just thought I'd show you guys this. So I'm quickly going to put my camera on charge and then i'm just gonna rest i uploaded a video today super proud of myself i did go up a little late than usual but yeah i'm um, just gonna pack this into the fridge and hopefully the fridge looks nice and full today as compared to all the other days i'll show you guys definitely when i'm done but yeah i just thought i would hey guys welcome back so today's monday we went to the gym this morning i wanted to vlog but today's gym session was hectic and i did not have any energy at all 
I struggled so much and we started with the keto diet today so I'm really really struggling I'm so hungry um, I'm currently taking my lunch break and there's load shedding so I just want to head over to the shops quickly to buy a scale food scale to make uh, some lunch um, yeah so I just want to get that and then we have a little thing that's happening so today something just tells me to look for a coffee machine online so i'm like searching searching and i searched like the first one i searched for was um nespresso so i looked and like they were quite pricey and then i went over and looked at um phillips which is my what my sister has that was even more pricey then i was like okay let me just research like other brands and see how much they cost so i searched the Longi and i see that incredible connections is having a sale so i like take a screenshot because the price was like mm, this price the coffee machine is like eighteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and on their website it says they're having a sale and then it says that the coffee machine is going for 1.8 so it says save seventeen thousand. so i send the screenshot to my sister and i'm like is this real and then my sister's like um try go onto the incredible connection site directly and see if it's there and i do that and then when i open it's still there so what i do is that um my sister is like if it's still there then check it out so um i check it out payment goes through and they're like oh your payment has gone through and we will deliver it to you then i send it to my mom because i'm like oh mom look at how cool this is don't you think your partner would like it because he loves coffee and she's like yes he's on the phone i'll tell him to like check it out when he's done and then when he tries it says out of stock so now i'm like these people better not try me because according to the consumer act i know the consumer is allowed to pay the price that was advertised and the fact that it had been like that for a while is not on me it's actually on incredible connection uh connections side like it's their fault so i'm entitled to the coffee machine that's what i know because it has happened to me and my sister so many times we've gone into store picked up something got to the till and it was a different price but they've had to give us at the price that we saw so they sent me an email they went through an agency and sent me an email to say oh um it was an error we'll refund you your money i sent an email back to say according to the consumer protection act i'm entitled to pay the price that i saw so now i'm waiting to hear what they say but mina ngaifuna e coffee machine yummy come rain or shine ngaifuna so yeah i've like put onto instagram who's a lawyer because i just want to make sure that i'm correct and like find out what procedures could be followed if these people decide that they want to act all funny on me but yeah let me quickly go get the, the um, food scale because i can't do without it i need to like measure all my food i'm so hungry holding this camera is even too much as you guys can hear i'm out of breath but yeah let us go hey guys welcome back so as you guys know today's the first day of keto and diagoa guys i'm even struggling to vlog so I'm making my dinner now, which is stir fry and chicken strips. And I found the scale from Clicks. So this is what it looks like. The nice thing with this one is that it's got a dish. So you don't constantly have to weigh like how much your dish weighs. So it's quite nice because I easily just put the meat on there. And this metal thing doesn't really weigh much. So I got it in the white color, which I'm super glad because it matches. So I used it to weigh my chicken, which I've cut into strips. So I am just making my stir fry now. I've put in the onions. I'm now going to throw in the mushrooms. Um, So yeah, um, one thing I also found when I quickly went to the mall was this from Apple. So I finally found um, like a vase like to put all my wooden spoons in and it's like marble. 
you can't really see because of the light it's like a marble type so I'm going to just throw in the wooden spoons and they see but they sit perfectly in there and I can also fit in that tea thing in my blob that I spoke about So I'll maybe just also include the whisker in there and I love it. I love it, I love it. And we'll just place it there for now. Um, let me just attend to my food before it actually burns. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see it. Still they wanna tear us apart. There's something to so I wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this when I came back from the store At around 3 I got an email saying that my package has been given to the couriers So maybe the email I sent actually worked and they've decided that they will send my coffee machine Which I want guys because it's not my fault, honestly, it's not my fault and yeah, they will need to learn to triple, if not check five times before things go live. Because honestly, that is not our fault. But yeah, guys, um, now that the curtains are here, I feel a little more privacy and I'm more comfortable to hang out in here. I don't really like, like I'm the type of person where I don't like not seeing what's happening on the other side. So because like in the night, my... Um, like it was so see-through that um, people outside could watch me I didn't find it like it wasn't comfortable for me so I didn't like hanging out here whereas now with the curtains I find that it is so much easier to hang out here do you actually need to wash these Hi, we will assume that we will wash them. But yeah, guys, I feel like my vlogging is not on point because I am so hungry. And the only thing I can season my food with is some Italian herbs and Himalayan salt, which is very sad. Um, Considering that I love like super super seasoned food This is On another level of sadness But yeah, I'm just watching Aliyah as I make my dinner And then I just need to finish With some work which I didn't really get to You know guys, e-load shaving Requires you to put in extra hours at times which sucks because I mean those couple of hours now could have been resting but yeah let me stop rambling because I feel like I'm just talking a little too much and not really making sense but yeah I'll keep you guys updated um, with the coffee machine hopefully it arrives the way we are, uh... actually just realized that I forgot to give you guys an update that the base arrived so we're no longer sleeping on the floor so that's what it looks like it's basically the same as I think like close to but it looks like it's a little bit warmer I don't know I think it's the same I don't know really it looks more like the shade that Tandy has for her uh, headboard but I think it's 
like this one seems a little more cooler if you can see as compared to that one so yeah i don't know if i really have the time to be returning it because it doesn't fully match but yeah maybe we can see it there i don't know maybe i'm seeing this but it definitely looks a little bit warmer but this is what my bed looks like i want to change these over here um because they're just not going with the room anymore i want something more like wooden not a dark wood but like a more lighter wood and then you yeah, are definitely going to be changing this baby up so i had my helper come today guys and i'm not too sure if this was ironed but hi this is me when people say they've ironed and this is what your bedding looks like i and then you must still pay someone at the end of the day because they say that they've done their job but yeah um i've been struggling to vlog because i mentioned that we are on the keto diet and your guys the starvation is real here like it is so real and like my skin if you guys can see when i've been saying that it's going through the most just have a sit here just look this is so not like me at all this is so not like me at all but yeah i still want to book an appointment with the dermatologist just to like get her to assist me like with something that will stop them from like consistently popping up um but yeah um, i hope with the new diet that they get better and maybe with the exercise now it means that i'm more healthier inside but yeah it's almost knockoff time well it is knockoff time but i just have a couple of things to do so i'm gonna like take about 30 minutes to do that then i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening and yeah i'm already feeling hungry i really don't know how i'm supposed to survive i know my body's gonna adjust like obviously it's like slowly adjusting to the the um, change in um portions and like eating more vegetables and no carbs so yeah i'm just waiting for it to fully adjust and hopefully it gets easier i do remember last time with the detox with joa it did get easier over time but that was so much better because we could have like oats for breakfast i definitely miss having oats um but yeah i'm definitely going to start increasing my portions because i don't think i can do it like i feel so weak and i don't think it's normal to be feeling weak and struggling to focus so yeah um just want to show you guys my outfit so i got this skirt from h and m i think i actually purchased it for 50 rand and i got it during like obviously during the winter before we went to italy and i'm so glad because it is so cute and it's so comfortable it's so nice for like the weather so yeah i really really like it so that's today's outfit um yeah as i mentioned my helper was here to clean and then i had to go drop it off by the taxi so that's what i did basically just been working all day struggling to focus but i think i kind of pushed some work through so yeah i will keep you guys updated later when i pick up the camera again i've been struggling to film my cooking videos because i'm just so hungry and i don't really have the time to be setting up a camera and trying to get different angles of me cooking i will definitely try do it next week to film like a, what i eat in a day or what i eat in a week to just show you guys how hectic this keto diet is but for now we're trying to survive and whilst trying to survive we don't have time to vlog so <laughs> when i pick up the camera is when i pick up the camera and tomorrow we have the gym so wish me luck and yeah there's something different about us we're pouring cup after cup after cup yeah it's just the way we do it anything just to block out the real life real life yeah we're loving the way they think we're so messed up, up. even if we're up with you guys so hunger is real so i am going to make this keto shake it does say use 150 to 200 mils of water do you think that's 200 mils maybe 
I need to get like a measuring something tomorrow. Um, yeah, because this isn't really helping much like just using my eye to measure. But it's, it's like chocolate flavored, but it doesn't really have much of a taste. So I'm going to add that in there. How I'm going to do that, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, one second. Let me think of how I'm going to do this. So I ended up pouring it in one of my bottles. And honestly, like, it doesn't really have sugar. But it's supposed to apparently help you with hunger. And I don't want to be eating now because I'm going to be hungry before I sleep. Okay, when it's shaped well, it definitely tastes better than it did yesterday. I think yesterday was terrible because I didn't shake it and I was basically just drinking bowls of meal shake but yeah it's chocolate flavor it's got zero sugar um, it says it's sweet sweetened with stevia but I didn't taste any stevia um, it's lacto vegetarian Gluten-free, non-GMO, GMO, no added soy. And then it says it boosts ketones. This water can be substituted with unsweetened nut milk. Oh well. I'm going to continue working. I'm just watching Toby. And then I might start making dinner in about an hour or so. So yeah. Looking forward to that. So for dinner today, we are having cauliflower rice. And I just put my cauliflower in here. And then it says you should have one. I was saying it says you should have one cup. So that's how much I've made in there. And I really love this little potable blender that I got myself. So with regards to my cauliflower rice, I am done. Now I am going to make my mints, which I've just measured on my food scale. I'm gonna saute that in a pan, and then I'm just gonna steam this up and make my celery and tomato bolognese, which is basically a celery and tomato soup. Then yeah, I'll show you guys as soon as we're done. Yeah, I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like So today is a Wednesday. I think the only thing I vlogged in the morning was me getting into the shower and me fixing my bed. I thought I would have the energy to vlog at the gym, but guys, it's hell. 
it's really hell in there but yeah i'm trying to push i'm feeling a little bit hungry um and the trainer said not to starve ourselves and i remembered that my mom got me this like um super greens plant protein to drink after the gym so it's less than 80 calories per serving so i'm going to make some of this to try hold myself till um lunch time um till breakfast time basically since i'm intermittent fasting but i'm very very hungry and i did use like a lot of energy at the gym so i'm just gonna do that i got back quite early at like past seven so i just tidied up the house did the dishes that i didn't do last night and then i then um got into the shower bath now i'm about to start with work i have a meeting um in about an hour at 8 30 um so at 9 30 sorry so that's what i'm going to do just prepare for that and then yeah i'm just gonna have this because i'm super hungry and then i'm gonna have a cup of tea and drink lots of water but yeah just thought i'd update you guys to let you know that we are still pushing things are gonna flap for me if i keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting keep waiting how did i get so dizzy Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. I don't get like this. it's something about you. I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? I just want to kiss you. Well, I don't usually get like Hey guys, so I actually didn't pick up the camera today, did I? no i don't think so so today is thursday today's thursday um my period just started so i'm not feeling so good i guess it kind of makes sense why i didn't really have much energy at the gym today i did go to the gym though but i just did like some cardio and that was basically it so i did like the treadmill i cycled and then i did the elliptical machine um and then in terms of hunger like my appetite's just been off i had breakfast uh, but lunch, I didn't really have lunch. I was supposed to have a salad with biltong. I just had the biltong and I didn't have the salad. So I'm about to make dinner now. And today is a day I've been looking, I've been looking forward to Thursday. Because Thursday is lamp chops. Um, we couldn't really find like a proper, proper lamp chop at Checkers when we bought on the day. So we've got these bright chops over here. I know it does say that um, I can only have, I think, 150 grams. So for dinner today, it says grilled lamb chops, 150 grams raw with bone. I'm definitely going to be having more than that. Like I mentioned, I did um, purchase this scale over here, which comes with a plate. But because I didn't have like a proper lunch, I'm going to increase my portions a little bit so we're having that with it says half a gem squash i'm going to have a whole one because i'm sorry i don't know who is supposed to eat this much food but definitely not me i'm going to have a whole jam squash and then it says serve it with butter so i'm going to put butter in it and i know it's going to taste good and then it also says make coleslaw with cabbage and celery one cup with olive oil and mayonnaise i'm not gonna put the celery because i don't like it raw i had it the other day i had to make a celery bolognese which is basically tomato and celery it was like a soup like a gravy so i made that the other day i can eat celery when it's cooked but raw no thank you it's not for me and then obviously i have to add um this keto oil like you add it in every food you eat so it says 15 mils i think 15 mils is like one tablespoon so that's what i've been adding to my food so i'm going to put these in the air fryer because i'm super lazy and the only thing i can use for seasoning as i mentioned is Himala himalayan salt and um herbs so i got like these italian herbs and these taste really good guys i don't know like like yeah i thought i would struggle without spices but this really gives it flavor like this combo together you would think that you actually did spice up your food when you actually didn't so yeah i'm just gonna put um take out the air fryer of course it's this one here 
connect it. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna get cooking and I will come and chat to you guys when I'm done. I guess I'll show you guys today's dinner because I keep forgetting because I get so hungry. But like today, my appetite is off obviously because of Auntie Nancy and my temperature is like fairly high. So yeah, guessing that's why. But yeah, we're gonna measure the meat and then let's get cooking. Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Yeah, I don't usually get like this Get like it, like this Something doesn't feel the same You said that I'm changing But it's really you I see how you play those games Wifey type for a main man A queen can make moves A king can't yeah, yeah. Snatch you up Now you take it Gave you bricks Now you build it A wall up Wall up Lately you and I've been all love All love I don't know what's up with our love Our love You forgetting all about us About us Oh My jolie Oh my jolie where are you when I need you the most? You still am my age. This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. Called your bluffing, made you something, now you're talking. Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off, cool it off? Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off, cool it off? You don't turn on me now You don't get no time for me now, babe Got him on a rebound But it's only you that I like, babe Tout ce que j'ai fait, c'était pour toi Sur le haut, parle, mais t'écoutes pas Tu me vois crever, mais tu bouges pas Pourquoi, whoa Yo, wall up, wall up You can't even get the scars up For us, I don't know what's up with our love Our love, you forgetting all about us About us, babe my jolie, oh my jolie, my where you been when I need you the most? Oh, okay, say hi to my vlog. Oh, hi guys! <laughs> guys, say hi to Dandy. So, I am here to relax my hair. As you can see, it looks terrible. Today is a Saturday. And I went to the gym. Ah, I feel so proud of myself. The trainer said I should tell you that we're leaving you behind. You know how you said everybody's got their own goals? Uh -huh. Yeah. So now I'm in Yakshia. So have you trained twice? Have you tra trained twice without me, or do you, you did you do one session without me? It was one session. Remember, you already did two. No, I'm saying, have, what do you mean? I'm saying, have you done one session without me or two sessions without me? Do you mean sessions with the trainer? Yeah, you. No, I've done one. The other day, I went on my own. Remember? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Alrighty, bye. bye. Okay, bye. Okay, see ya. Uh, show me your hair when you're done. Okay. Okay. Okay, ciao. Ciao. This is murder, heart is melting. Girl, you got me. This is murder, bluffing. Need you something. Now you're talking. I call you bluffing. Tell me to cool it up, cool it up. How can I cool it up, cool it up? Tell me to cool it up, cool it up. So I'm done with my hair and I look human again. I'm so happy. But I'm so hungry. Um, the only thing I can have for breakfast is like eggs. So I'm not too sure if I should rather go home first, eat, then um, run my errands for the day. I don't know what to do. Because some of the shops I want to go to are around about here and what to do what to do what to do what to do let's see what do I want to do today because I want to go to macro and it's right here maybe let me try go to um, Woolworths for breakfast I'll try walking in the donut a keto friendly breakfast let's see because going home and then having to cook and then coming back it's already quarter to 12 that will take me long um, I can have like egg bacon avo spinach let's see do they have a word here maybe I can try and have that rather okay I thought I actually forgot a tampon but at least I have one so let's see Woolworths where's the closest one Woolworths Cafe where's the closest one it's taking me to the one in Santon maybe I should just go to Santon because do I really need Santon the mall no I need Santon. What do I need today? I don't even know. Um, let me think about this and then get back to you guys because I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing today. So I made it to the Woolworths in Woodmead because Macro is close by. I actually want to get like um umbrella tent thing for my patio upstairs and I also want to look for furniture so I might as well just go to um yeah that and they also have a couple of stores here so i'll just walk around and see and then obviously we'll decide um but yeah i think i look like a clean girl now you know just need to wipe my glasses um i'm so happy i can like order a coffee obviously with no sugar but yeah i need to definitely get a coffee machine so might also look around and see if there's anything that i like and then we'll decide but obviously i'll take you guys with me I love my car because it can sense when it's hot and then it closes the um, what do you call it the roof thing but this place is too hot I tend to close it myself because by the time it closes my seats would have been burnt so that's one thing I love about this car the fact that it can sense the temperature and stuff so yeah um, I think I'm gonna leave this because I don't really need it. But I'm gonna take everything else. I'm going to take my phone. Maybe put my camera in my bag. So yeah, I'm gonna put you guys in the bag for now and then I'll obviously take you guys out when we start vlogging. But yeah, it's quite hot already. Like already my what do you call it? Dashboard is burning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rule, yeah. Turn up for the night. the night. Real thing, she's no average girl. Too fine, oh, she might. She's so yeah. damn fine. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just you. fall on you. Not a thing I won't do. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I just wanna call on you. Hey. Let me do it all for you. Let me do Can't it nobody all. fall on you. 
phone. Ooh, yeah. Eh. She the girl in my visions. Now that I found you, I'm fiending for all your attention. So I just ordered some breakfast. I'm having bacon, eggs, avo, mushroom, and some cherry tomatoes. And this is all keto friendly. Well, I was supposed to have some sausages, but they don't have any. So I'm just gonna have this, and hopefully this makes me happy for the day. Hope you don't mind if I give you a tour of my mansion. Yeah, all of this for you, babe. Nothing I won't do, babe. Weak for your love. Everywhere we go, we they be alright. Yeah, can't help it with your body. Just wanna make you happy. I just wanna call on you. Money just fall on you. Not a thing I won't do. Ooh yeah. yeah. I just wanna call on you. Let me do it all for you. Can nobody ball on you? Ooh yeah. yeah. Did I? Yeah. That's the reason I think it was a good idea to try shop on the first of the month. I can't do this. I went into macro. It's so full, and it is so hot around here. So I am leaving, and I'm heading. Ooh so bright i'm leaving and i'm heading home because i don't have energy anyways so then i'm gonna go relax if i decide i want to do something later i'll do that but for now i tap out this is why i don't ever go out on weekends because i just can't do this so yeah at least i got my hair done and yeah they don't even have the what do you call Ooh, i'm even sweating they don't even have the umbrella I'm looking for, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna leave. So let's go. Joyce, of having your sister's key, you can come to her place whenever you need something. So, because I wanna film tomorrow and I need this, I thought I might as well come get it. Whilst she's still not here, and I'll bring it back. So, Tandy, when you're watching this, just know I entered your house without me knowing. So, yeah, I wanted the steam pot. Oh, okay. Didn't even fix her bed before she left. So, I actually thought she took this with her, but I guess she didn't. So, lucky me, I get to. You for my clip at the you break people's things when they are not here. But yeah, let me head home now. I wanna go do some shopping, but I'm lazy.